If you're familiar with photography, you've probably seen these images. Richard Moses' work titled Infra, documenting the conflict persisting in the Democratic Republic of Congo using a special film called Kodak Aerochrome. Aerochrome is a colour infrared film originally developed in World War II by Kodak in partnership with the US military and was predominantly used in aerial photography for bombing raids and camouflage detection. Because of this film's ability to capture infrared light, foliage like plants and trees are often rendered a pinky red hue due to their reflectiveness of light. Here's a scientific graph that kind of explains it a bit better. It was during World War II and into the Cold War where colour infrared film was a necessity for the military. Being able to detect camouflage which, while green like other plants, lacks the chlorophyll, making it stand out against real foliage, was essential. This worked great until the enemy figured out what was going on and developed paints and camouflage that didn't work against infrared light, rendering the film pretty useless for the military. While not being able to spot camouflage as effectively, it was still great for determining plants' health and seeing through fog, which is around the point Kodak released Aerochrome to the public. You can see this film's stock used throughout the decades and most famously in album covers like this Black Sabbath album. But like most good things, Aerochrome had to come to an end. In 2009, Kodak discontinued Aerochrome, which roughly follows the decline in film photography at that time. This was mainly due to a shift to digital and film wasn't becoming as necessary. And this roughly brings us back to where this video started. Richard Mose using Aerochrome in his documentation of the conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo during 2012. These images are honestly stunning and it's so fitting to use a film stock developed for war that can see the unseeable to then be used to document a conflict that wasn't seen globally due to a lack of global media coverage. And so I was, I was fascinated then to bring this film which, which registers the invisible, makes visible the unseeable, um, to bring that to a place which also since then, Aerochrome has only became more popular, with YouTubers like Grainy Days pioneering for the film to come back by drinking flaming hot Mountain Dew every day. With a rise of interest in the film stock, multiple ways to emulate it have been created. Black and white infrared film is still readily available to buy, and if you use a process known as trichromatic photography for replacing the red with infrared, you can create a colour infrared image. I had a roll of Roly Infrared 400 laying around still, so I thought I'd load it up in my Nikon F2 and take it out shooting. While most of these images I took are black and white, I did decide to try and recreate colour infrared for one image, and well, I think I did an alright job. While Aerochrome is a film that will go down in history, it's unlikely we'll ever see a return of the original film stock. This is due to Kodak disassembling the machines that originally made the film, but we can always dream. Thanks for watching, and Matt out.